Hi dancers, this is Shane Carey Dance, class recap for the second week of February 2024. So in our building box class, we built upon our first week, which we did a sugar push, refer back to the former video for that, and we added a sugar tuck. And before we go into the tuck, we wanted to help gain connection and go triple step. So we're absolutely absorbing the follow so we can send the follow through without physically using our arm too much. So it's one, two, catch, absorb, send. That's all I do for the turn. And go step. As follows, we wanted to make sure, just like the sugar push, our right foot comes forward on the three count. And then as we turn, we talked about keeping the thighs close. So we were entering that in more of a pivot type situation, which allows us to adapt if our leader wants us to speed up or slow down. One, two, catch, three, absorb, four, anchor, five, and six. And I'm letting the follow rotate at whatever speed she wants for those last two beats. Oh, and one, two, three, and four, anchor, five, and six, sugar, one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's great. So then we went to the level up class. We were working off the leader's right to follow's left. We were working on the wind up and week one we did a free spin, but we kept the arm this time and unwound in a single what we call yo-yo. One, prep, two, three, down, four. And now I'm going to start the rotation, anchor, step. So I really start the unwind on, unwind on five but I'm letting the follower finish it and six. So we'll do that again and one, prep two, into the hip three and down four, away five and six. And the followers and I worked on not unwinding too quickly. We don't want to completely square off. What we want to do is we want to ride that inside edge of the left arm and slowly unwind so that we're then collecting, ready, and hovering for the leader to take us into the one. We'll do it all directions. And up. one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Excellent. So the next playtime class, we actually delved a little bit more in the shaping and styling we worked on week one. And we gave you independent things in order to practice as leaders and follows. So first of all, we talked Cross about... hand, show push. We talked about the leader going ahead and... Yeah, so I think back one, diagonal two. I don't take a very long two. This makes it really easy for the follow to compress and then have plenty of time to make up their mind on what sort of styling they're doing. So we absorb each other there. As the leader shapes the body, the followers and I talked about coming forward with your hips, actually committing weight to that weight change. What happened was the head and shoulders and the top line were styling down. We weren't realizing that we weren't fully committing into that weight change. So that compression wasn't fully committed in our connection. So as we come in, we go ahead and swivel our three and four for the figure four and finish five and six. We also talked about the fact that that's an opportunity that the leader is presenting to the follow, but he's not actually leading the styling itself. No, the follow is the styling. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. So from there, we did a free spin to the chest. And this we worked, we worked a little bit more on the body roll. And we talked about those kicks can be adjusted if the leader needs to extend for two more or four more, or maybe the music asks us to extend. And as we trace down to the arm, instead of the free spin this week, we added what we did in the level up class, which was the yo-yo with the slow unwind. So we'll do that from the other side. One catch, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four, five, six. I'm weighted back. Adjust Seven, the walk. eight. Down the track, one. Prep, two, three, and four, five, and six. And the one thing I want to add in is a little bit of a drill that I taught the followers they could use at home. Finding a surface, keeping that hand down at the hip level and connected to the surface and practicing that figure eight for the three and four and it's at the angle. If forward is your 12 o'clock, we're doing it kind of like from the 10 o'clock to the five o'clock. So it's a great at home practice. One little tip that I have, 
uh, for the leaders to not overlead this. And I'm not saying you couldn't, because you could if you had a different choice, but learning the control, one prep, two, three, and four, connect, five, and six, allows her to stretch there. If I overdo it, which would be a different move, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, I would be bringing her back down the track. I wouldn't allow her to settle. Which is a little teaser for next week classes, because oh, that's where we're going. All right, guys, happy at-home practice, and we'll look forward to seeing you in group classes on Westy Wednesdays.